Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is Monday Night Raw. And this is the second last show before Extreme Rules. Alright, hold on. Maybe 14th. Yeah, that was right. Second last show before Extreme Rules. Alright. I know WWE really, you know, IRL is doing, uh, their Extreme Rules in July, where we're gonna be Battleground. But, you know, it's still 12 pay per views. So, whatever. We're making it our own. So. Next week. We're going to have the Raw Tag Team title on the line. This here is a number one contender match for said championship. Winner takes on Johnny Gargano and Cedric Alexander for the gold next week. So let's get things started, shall we? <coughs> we're going to have Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel taking on... Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher in this one. Of course, I have Jack Gallagher in his pre teaming with Brian Kendrick attire, but you know, again, making it our own. Alright, here we go. Alright, so one on one, or, or sorry, two on two actually. Alright, nice uh, suplex there. Gut wrench style by Bo Dallas. Alright, and. Bo Dallas with a nice body slam there. Alright, Kendrick, he's a nice uh, leg lock there. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Braun Strowman will be in action. And he will go one on one. Well, actually, wait and see. I gotta think. Who am I gonna put him against? I'll think of it. Anyways, back to the match. Kendrick tagging out to to Jack Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher, former Intercontinental Champion, also competed in the Cruiserweight Classic. I'm sure we'll have another one of those types of tournaments this year. Maybe this summertime. <coughs> the UK tournament last year, and also the Mae Young Classic. All right, here we go. Curtis Axel is in the ring. Here we go. Nope, never mind. Curtis Axel in there, son of the son of Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. There's an awesome raw logo. Alright, stay tuned this week, tomorrow night, for the SmackDown. 
and we'll find out who will be facing off against Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Actually, wait, we already know it's Billy Kay. So, Charlotte will go one on one with Peyton Royce. Once again, Billy Kay will be at ringside. Charlotte. Oh no, that's in, that's at extreme rules. One, no kick out. Extreme rules. Oh no, sorry. Charlotte already defended her title at Backlash, so yeah, it will be next week. Oh, nice punch to Jack Gallagher. Alright, and Ryan Kendrick looking on. You can tell he wants to get in there and compete for the Raw Tag Team Championship. <coughs> of course, it wouldn't be the first time that Kendrick has won Tag Team Gold. He's won it twice before with Paul London. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to do a tournament. One of those May Young Classic sort of tournaments. I will be revealing the category soon. And it will be played out in summertime. We have a special a special event maybe two but maybe make up a two parter but yeah I'm gonna have a tournament it's gonna be a sixteen person or team tournament <coughs> Let me know in the comments below who you would like to see in it. Whether it be males, females, tag teams, singles, trios, what have you. Let me know in the comments below. And then I will be revealing it at Backlash. Or, sorry, Extreme Rules. There we go. One, two, kick out. Alright, and Curtis Axel in the ring now. Against Brian Kendrick. Yes. Axel and Kendrick are the only two that in this match that have held the tag team gold before. Uh, uh, on uh, on Raw or SmackDown. Neither Gallagher nor Odalis. Forever a main roster tag team champion. Nice headbutts there by Jack Gallagher. Oh, he's he's taunting him now. <coughs> uh, here we go. Submission hold locked in. Gallagher definitely was in control. Hmm. 
And oh, Gut Buster. Sixteen minutes in. This match is still not over. You guys are in for a hell of a surprise next week. I'm going to leave it a surprise until it actually happens. One, two, three, no, kick out. Here we go. Jack Gallagher tagged out to Brian Kendrick. Curtis, a Curtis Axel is out of the ring now. <coughs> All right, here we go. One, two, kick out. With Bo Dallas, former NXT champion and former FCW tag team champion. Two, three, no kick out. So he knows what it's like to be a champion, just not on the main roster. There's a double team power bomb there by Dallas and Axel. Bo Dallas, son of Mike Rotunda, aka IRS. All right, and there's a backslide. One, two, three, no kick out. All I can say is it's going to be a hell of a match next week. Oh, there's a clothesline. <coughs> well, there was a hurricane rana. Brian Kendrick goes up and comes down with an elbow. Jack Gallagher looking on. Curtis Axel looking on. And there's a belly to belly by Bo Dallas. Oh, and Bo setting it up. Spear. That's the one that won him the NXT title quite some time ago. And there's a clothesline. And there's a frog splash. One, two, three. Your winners are Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher. Alright. There we go. Frog Splash wins it all. And next week it will be Cedric Alexander teaming up with Johnny Gargano to take on the team of Brian Kendrick and G Jack Gallagher for the Tag Team Championship. Let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win. And let's get to our next match. Alright, triple threat match next. It is R Truth versus Gold Dust versus Baron Corbin. Triple threat rules. Baron Corbin is the number one contender for the. But R Truth and Gold Dust have a feud to settle from months and months back.
And so General Manager Kurt Angle just said, you know what, put them all in one match. So that's where we are now. <coughs> all right. Alright, and our truth fighting off Goldust and Baron Corbin. Goldust going after Baron Corbin now. Of course, the new Intercontinental Champion after Backlash is Aleister Black. It'll be Baron Corbin one-on-one -on -one with Aleister Black in their contractually obligated rematch for the gold. All right, here we go. Su nice suplex by our truth there. <coughs> Most true former United States champion ended up losing the championship. Look at the end. Oh. Remember, he ended up winning again, winning again against the Miz. I think he lost to the Miz too, if I know, if I remember correctly. I'll have to look that up. But anyways, Goldust, former Intercontinental champion. And a former tag team champion. Goldust has held tag team gold with his brother, who is now on the indie circuit, Cody Rhodes. Oh, nice a body slam there by our truth. So again, I will be holding a tournament such as the Cruiserweight Classic UK tournament or or, uh, or any of those. One, and it'll be a two pay-per-view series, or mini-series, I should say. This one, of course, will take place on July the 1st, which is Canada Day. Alright, here we go. One, two, not even a two there. <coughs> Alright, here we go. A suplex there. Only one there. Okay, so nice double team on gold dust there by our truth and Baron Corbin. All 
Yeah, I think Baron Corbin had a chair for a second, but <clears throat> lost it. <coughs> oh, nice bulldog there by Goldust. And Baron Corbin, reverse choke slam. He's got some lumber now. And he's in the ring with it. Double team on our truth. Tried to get Baron Corbin from behind, but ends ended up in a double team move. All right, Corbin's down. No, he just got back up. Nice back suplex to Gold Dust. There's a straight punch. One, two, kick out. Corbin low blowing the former Golden Truth. All right, nice uh, bulldog there by. Gold dust to Baron Corbin. Gold dust get, eats a suplex for his efforts. What's Corbin gonna do? Oh, double team on Gold dust. And Gold dust went down on it because of the lumber. There's a elevator. Nice twisting neckbreaker there. All right, truth is down. Gold dust. I can capitalize here. No, truth comes back. And Hurricane Rana. One, two, kick out. Alright, nice DDT to our truth. <coughs> Twice this is playing up their feud from last year between our truth and gold dust. Maybe two years ago now. This is to basically end it. Hopefully, out of these two, get to settle the score. All right. Goldust is up. Goes up. Ooh, nice elbow on Baron Corbin there. Hurricane Rana. Looks gold dust doesn't pull those out too often. There's a lie detector. Alright, gold dust going after Corbin. But Corbin comes back. He grabs the wood. And down goes down goes the dust. And her Carano. Gold dust gets caught. <coughs> and taps out. Baron Corbin is your winner. So your winner is Baron Corbin after pinning Gold Dust. Our truth was about to go after him. Will there be a feud there? Who knows? Stay tuned to find out. Gold Dust taps out. Baron Corbin is your winner. And he proves that he has not lost a step since losing the Intercontinental title. Can he win it back? 
in two weeks' time. Stay tuned, find out, and of course, make your prediction in the comments below. Alright, third match of the night, ladies and gentlemen, it is Mandy Rose going one-on-one -on -one with Asuka here tonight. And Bailey will be at ringside. Bailey and Asuka will be for the championship, and that will be at Extreme rules no disqualification but for now Asuka has a match against Mandy Rose Bailey is at ringside Sonya Deville is at ringside who will make an impact on this one <coughs> So stay tuned next week. Our main event is going to be Braun Strowman one on one with Dolph Ziggler. But tonight, Strowman. Is facing somebody else who will be in history up until the main event, which is coming up next. Alright, and he tries a butt bump, but nothing. Here we go, one, kick out. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned tomorrow for SmackDown. Hold on. Nope. Never mind. We already know AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, and Sheamus will all be facing each other. For the SmackDown World Championship in a few weeks' time. What? What we didn't know is that tomorrow night on SmackDown they will be facing each other in tag team action. Leia. And then next week on SmackDown, it will be Sheamus one on one with Daniel Bryan. So, we got our main events planned. One, no kick out. Sheamus, Daniel Bryan. Facing off against each other next week. This week it's a fatal four way. Which also includes AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. Oh no, not a fatal four way. Ah, tag team. And ladies and gentlemen. In the Raw after Extreme Rules, we will see the return of Cesaro. Not sure in what capacity yet, but we will see him return. One. Two. Was Sonya Deville just distracted the referee? Nice kicks there by Oscar. 
<clears throat> All right, next week it'll be Bailey's turn against Sonya Deville. One on one. There we go. One, two, ooh, no, kick out. And there's the glorified pedigree. Or whatever she's calling it. Implant buster, whatever. Either way, good move. Probably her only good move, in my opinion. Alright. Sonya DeBell looking on. Because next week, she goes one on one with Bailey. Oh, Sonya! She gets up to distract the referee, but it's too late. Your winner is Oscar! Alright, Oscar. Definitely picks up a huge, huge victory here. Sort of. <laughs> 79. I'll give it that. Maybe an 83 ish. Oh, yeah, it was a good match. For sure. And that's surprising because I usually wouldn't say that about a Mandy Rose match. Anyways, stay tuned up next is our main event. Brock Lesnar is not here tonight. Will he be here next week? Stay tuned and find it. Alright, main event time, ladies and gentlemen. It is Braun Strowman going one on one with Big Cass here tonight. Alright, here we go. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say, there's a pin, but yeah. Anyways, uh, definitely go back and watch previous videos on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, all of uh, er, because of the faulty internet connection, I wasn't able to upload last week. So. Past Saturday, I uploaded seven videos. So go back and watch those for sure. I tell you, there's awesome matches on each one. And it wasn't a flop like, you know, IRL backlash. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Stroman. With a knee to the face. And oh, running power slam. Strowman gets up before Cass could do anything else on that. There we go. So stay tuned this Thursday for MWF Miracle. Oh, 
for the 3DW Miracle Championship will be on the line. Sister Pristine will defend her championship against Lilith Zubin. With a nice East River crossing there. And then KPW Kickass, the KPW Tag Team title will be on the line. Will be the champions Wizards of Oslo taking on the Icelandish Assault. Norway versus Iceland. Two countries which have never been represented in real life WWE. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. But I don't think I am. Alright, there's a nice choke slam there by Big Cass. But Strowman picks him up, throws him like he's nothing. Alright, here we go. With that submission hold that Strowman used to debut with. Uh, that Strowman debuted with, I mean. And there's running power slam and an empire elbow. Or two of them, I should say. Old Cass has got something on his mind here. And here we go. Strowman with another submission hold. Brought him down to his knees that time. One, no kick out. There's a running power slam to Braun, taking a page right out of Braun's book there. Braun gets hit by the sun don't shine. And Braun Strowman is the number one contender for the Raw World Championship. He will be facing off against Brock Lesnar. No disqualification. MMA fight at Extreme Rules. That will definitely be an interesting one for sure. They will be fighting in the Dodecagon, a 12 sided cage, specifically for mixed martial arts. Here we go reverse choke slam. One, two, kick out by Big Cass. The backlash. Oh, sorry. Now that backlash is coming on, turn our attention to Extreme Rules. All six championship matches have been made. We have two non title matches yet to be booked, so stay tuned. So you know what? I'm going to book one right now. It is going to be. Oh, nice move there. In the first one, for Monday Night Raw, the man known as Big Cass will go one on one. With Seth Rollins. And tomorrow night on SmackDown, stay tuned. And we will book the final non title match for Extreme Rules.
we got a busy couple of weeks ahead. We're going non stop. Nice. Nice power slam there. Or er, uh, spine buster, I mean. Why did I say power slam? Anyways. And. There's a southpaw clothesline. That Strowman gets kicked right in the chest. Alright, and oh, kick to the back of the head. There's an East River Crossing. One, two, no kick out. There's another East River Crossing. One, two, kick out again by Braun. There's big cast trying to rise to the main event scene. Trying to get himself a future championship opportunity here. Also, if you remember from what I said last month, that if Brock Lesnar loses the championship, he will not be back until SummerSlam. The only thing keeping them here right now is the championship. The fact that he has gold around his waist is why he's on this pay per appearance contract. Here we go. Nice fall away slam there, but big cast. It's a punch to the back of the head. Well, oh, big cast. Choke slam. But Braun gets right back up. But he gets, goes down again with a fall away slam. <clears throat> Braun taking everything that uh, that uh, Big Cass is throwing at him. And it's coming back. Except maybe that boot. Anyways. Hell of a contest so far. This is stuff that, you know. Pay per views are made of right here. This equals ratings. Alright, nice Empire Elbow with Big Cast. Cast with a backbreaker. Here we go. Running power slam. Alright, Strowman's down. Cass is dazed. Nope, oh, Cass is up. Strowman's up. Okay, here we go. Now Strowman's down. Cass is on the top rope. Nice fist drop there. Make Jerry Waller proud there. And there's an elbow. Strowman is down. Cass is dazed. But they got back up at the same time. And East River Crossing. Here we go. There's some shoulder thrusts in the corner. And there's a running power slam by Braun. Caskets right up. And a reverse choke slam. Braun makes the cover. One, two, three. 
Braun Strowman wins this one. Your winner is the number one contender, Braun Strowman. All right. There we go. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter at A13ENT. Check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash A13entertainment. Have a great day, night, whatever it may be for you. And never forget. Never, ever, ever forget. To always stay frosty.